and welcome on uh, Watches TV. Welcome here at uh, Watches Club in the heart of the old town of Geneva. And today we have our good friend Valentin Remonté who is here to talk about his new timepiece. I don't know if you guys remember, but a bit more than, well, almost two years ago, yeah. uh, we had showcased a really quite exuberant uh, timepiece. I mean, the lightest mechanical watch ever made, 28 grams strap included. And uh, that was pretty cool. So now you're taking uh, this original take on watchmaking in, an, in another step. I yes. mean, it's a new step for you. So explain us a little bit, uh, what were the ideas uh, behind this uh, latest development? So uh, the, the idea came from uh, when, um, last July, actually. Uh, I was looking for something uh, at my parents' house and uh, I found uh, a metallic box uh, from my uh, childhood. And, uh, it was full of uh, items and, and stuff uh, and, of course, memories and souvenirs. And, and I, I, I thought it, it would be quite cool to have your, your own memory safe, kind of memory safe, and you're on your wrist all, all the time. And you keep a memory with you uh, safe on your wrist. So that was the, the starting, uh, starting point. And uh, what kind of memories were you thinking about? How would you physically transpose those memories into a watch? Then? Yeah, uh, in, in the watch it's uh, um, a small silver insert uh, where you can uh, engrave the, whatever you want, uh, a drawing, a date, a text, uh, something, uh, a souvenir. Something, something personal. Yeah. Something personal, yeah. Okay, but now talking watchmaking, <laughs> yeah, uh, watch. so... I mean, obviously, we have, again, a very original case design. Yes. Um, this time, also, you went a bit further with the movement development yeah. because most of it is done by yourself. Yes. Um, tell, us, uh, tell us about that. Uh, about, the, about the case, about the, the shell, maybe, I should say. It's, uh, the main idea was really to en encapsulate uh, the movement and, uh, of course, the memory, like I said and the sapphire glass, really to protect uh, every uh, mechanical parts and, and most fragile parts. So uh, the case is, uh, it's composed by two parts. Uh, you have one on top, uh, it was designed to, uh, to carry the, the glass, the sapphire glass, and to protect it. And you have a, a back, or a carrier, most like mm -hmm. a carrier. Uh, it's uh, made uh, directly from a solid block of titanium, so it's one piece. Uh, it's quite hard to, to machine, but it's uh, really strong and it, it really embodies uh, the, the philosophy of uh, encapsulating. Because on top of it, I mean, you, you aimed at having a weight as low as possible. So, I mean, the, the, the thickness of the case yes. is, quite, is quite thin, right? It's but quite nevertheless thin. solid, but still yes, thin. Yes, it's, so it's a mix between yeah, uh, uh, being uh, super strong and light and, you know, easy to wear. Uh, because you, you, you have a curve on, on the back of the watch to be more uh, to improve the comfort on, on your wrist, and it's also super light because it's uh, it weights um, 50 grams with the strap, so once again, it's it's uh, it's super light. And, yeah, and 50 grams, I mean, that's not a lot for a time, piece, yes. Yeah. And if we continue for the, ads, the outside of the watch, we have uh, uh, the chrome placed uh, on the top of the watch, uh -huh. so once again, it's a little bit uh, singular uh, because I really hate when uh, you have a cyclone and uh, it uh, it can hurt your, your your waist and it ruins your your aesthetic your, your symmetry and so yeah I, I decided to, to, to move it uh, uh, from the top for front of the watch and because we, we are making our, our own movement, so uh -huh. it was quite, quite free. For you. So, yeah, precisely then, uh, let's talk movement. And uh, what, uh, what are we talking about then? So it's um, our own movement, so it's uh, a mechanical movement, obviously. Uh, it's uh, and uh, winding, I think it's called. Yeah. yeah, and winding. And yeah. winding, yes. And uh, we have our own uh, also uh, winding setting system, so it's super compact. Uh, it allows us to uh, to keep the the size uh, the size of the case uh, super uh, compact. Compact, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a square of uh, 33 millimeter by 33 millimeter and 14 millimeter thick. So it's not oversized. It's really uh, once again easy to wear. And so about the movement, uh, it's really um, I was playing with 
with time because the name of the watch is time capsule. So uh, I really want uh, the movement to do the same. So it's, uh, it, it plays with time by displaying it uh, by three different ways. So you have a, a jumping cylinder for hours indication. Mm -hmm. You have a retrograde, uh, level retrograde for the minutes and a rotative propeller for the seconds. So three different place and location inside the movement and three different motion too, because you have a jumping uh, cylinder, a retrograde and a rotative second. So it was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and additional to this, uh, you also have kind of a chiming, chiming mechanism. Yes, a little yeah. surprise. Yeah, little surprise. Yes, we, we use um, what can I say? Uh, the, uh, the arm of the retrograde when it fall down, we use this this movement to uh, to strike a, a gong string. Uh, it was quite challenging actually to make it ring because I don't want uh, too noisy to high and annoying uh -huh. uh, ring. I really want more, uh, more deep and more quiet, kind of quiet uh, uh, ring. So uh, I tried a lot of different materials for the gong uh, and I found the bronze is uh, it's a better option. And it was very difficult to, uh, to make it, uh, you know, to, to drive the vibration from the gong to the main plates, to the case back, it's, it's really crucial to, to, to drive uh, this, uh, this vibration, so it, it was quite challenging to, yeah. to make it work. Because, yeah, indeed, the, the uh, passage of the hour is marked by this uh, little yes. gong, uh, but you can't it. switch it off. I mean, it's, it's, it's a constant, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's that's why you didn't on. want it to have something yes. that was yes, indeed... it's always on. When you have uh, the, the cylinder jump, mm -hmm. the retro has four, and you have a little uh, yeah. ring. Uh, yeah, a little song. surprise, as yeah. you say. And uh, uh, in terms of uh, machining the part, because I mean you have a small setup, uh, how do you how do you work with uh, with either suppliers or yourself? Yes, what kind uh, of machines do you have? So a lot of parts are made by myself at my workshop, but I have also uh, like I said close su supplier close by uh, their location, but also uh, close because I I really want more like a, a partnership uh, relationship with them. So yes, we are making a lot of parts, almost 90% uh, of uh, all the parts are made in, uh, in France by close supplier or by, by, by us directly. Uh -huh. So the movement is already, uh, is also uh, made in uh, quite uh, exotic uh, material for, for, for bridges or main plane because it's made in steel. Uh, because I really want to uh, show the mechanical features, to show the mechanics, but it's also, uh, make it more fragile, so I want to make it stronger, so I decided to machine all the bridges and the main plate in steel. Like the, the, the titanium case, it was also a challenge to make it uh, work. And in terms of uh, finishing, is there anything special you did? Uh, all the finishing I made by hand, I did all, all by, my, my, by myself, and uh, uh, yeah, there is no uh, finish. It's, uh, the, the titanium case is sand, uh, blasted. So uh -huh. So I, I, uh, I bought a, a cabin, a sandblasted cabin, so I did myself too. And all the, the, the internal parts of the movement are also finishing by myself. Okay. And uh, in terms of uh, production uh, volumes, how, do, how does this, this work? I mean, uh, it's, you know, we, we don't have a big production capacity because uh, I'm working alone. And uh, I, maybe I hope this year I will make uh, three, maybe four of, the, of this timepiece. Maybe five, it will be maybe too optimistic, but yeah, three or four, it will be great. And uh, in t coming back to the, to the capsule itself, yeah. so what are the possibilities there? Is it only engraving or is there any other things that could be uh, achieved? Uh, it could, uh, it, it's uh, just uh, silver plated uh, and you can uh, engrave whatever you want. It's, uh, it could be, like I said, drawing a date or text. Uh, even if if the text is super tiny and you can read it, uh, the, the most uh, the idea was to just to think it was it's it's there, it's with you, it's safe. So yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Valentin, for dropping by and showing us and sharing us uh, with us uh, this uh, new timepiece. I'm sure you have still many other ideas in your head. You seem like a very creative uh, watchmaker. And uh, it's always cool to talk about things that are a little bit different here on this channel. So thanks for watching. See you real soon. And of course, viva watchmaking!